Hey you guys, it's Lauren, welcome back. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you my top five most favorite chemical exfoliants. I have a few different formulations here. I have three serums, an AHA in a pad form, and then also my favorite AHA BHA mask. An exfoliator is probably my most favorite part of my skincare routine because it's that one thing that makes an instant difference. You instantly feel that smoothness, you see that brightness. So it's just instant gratification. I have way too large of a collection of them, but these five are my favorites, mainly for their ingredients and also their effectiveness. These have just really just made a difference in my skin. So I wanted to rank them from one to five, with one being the product that has made the most noticeable change in my skin and five being the product that it's still effective, but maybe I don't really notice the biggest changes in my skin, but it still does the job. So lots to get through, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so first let's talk about chemical exfoliants. There's a few different types, and they can come in a variety of different forms, such as cleansers, toners, masks, serums, you name it, you can put any AHA or BHA into any formulation. And they're broken down into two different categories. We have our AHAs, being your lactic acid, your glycolic acid, fruit acids such as malic acid. And these are larger molecules that mainly help with cell turnover, hence that will plump the skin and regenerate new skin cells to help firm the skin, to help with brightness. They can even help with collagen production. And then you have your BHAs or your salicylic acid, and they more so help get deep down into the pores and really to help clarify the skin. But they all basically help to resurface the skin and give us that youthful glow that we all strive for. They can come in a variety of different strengths and formulations. pHs are going to vary and that is one point too. You want to look out for the pH of a product and also the concentration. The pH of the product is going to tell you how much acid is in there. So the lower the number, the stronger the product, the more acidic, which can also mean the more irritating the product can be, which is why a lot of the lower pHs you'll find in in-office chemical peels. They can range from a 1 to a 3. A lot of the over the counter products are more of a three to a four. A lot of the resources I found have said that a three to a four is the ideal pH for effectiveness. You can go lower, but because of the irritating side effects, you want to be under a doctor's supervision. But some of like Sunny Rally Good Jeans, that has a pH of 2.6. So you can find these lower pHs, but keep the pH in mind because especially if it's your first time with a chemical exfoliant, using something with a pH of a two is probably gonna be way too intense for you and it's gonna cause you some irritation or inflammation. So start off with a higher number. So my number one, my ride or die exfoliant has to be the Drunk Elephant TLC Sakori Baby Facial. This is a 25% AHA and a 2% BHA blend. This is your kitchen sink of exfoliators. This has everything you can want in here. It has your lactic acid, your glycolic acid, your fruit acid such as citric, and your BHA is your salicylic acid in here. Everything is in here and it's so great. The formulation is amazing. It comes in a smooth like silky creamy formula. It's a mask so you leave it on your skin for 20 minutes, you rinse it off. When I first used this, oh my gosh, the tingle was so intense. I thought I was gonna have to return it, but they balance this out with so many soothing ingredients in here. I don't get any redness. I've never experienced any peeling. And my favorite part about this is the fact that I really do get instant results. If I want smoother skin, if I have an event coming up where I want my makeup to go on nice and even, this just regenerates my skin. It smooths everything out. And it really just gives that like instant plumpness. And the biggest difference I've noticed with this is my sunspots have lightened. And I'm talking, after I wash it off, I, I'm staring at myself in the mirror. I'm like, is it me or is that sunspot lighter? If you can get past that tingle, the results are so worth it. And at a pH of 3.5, it's just effective enough to do the job, but yet it's still gentle. It's balanced out with skin soothing ingredients. There's green tea in here, which also there's been studies to show that green tea helps with skin brightening as well. There's also niacinamide in here, which again also helps with skin brightening. It can help shrink in pores. The BHA is going to help to clarify and unclog your pores. So this letter, if you just want your skin to just be renewed and refreshed, this is the mask for you. It's 
expensive, it's pricey, but it's definitely worth it for me. I just love it so much. And number two on my list is Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. This is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. This has just your lactic acid. There's no glycolic in here. So this might be a good option for those of you that have more dry skin. Lactic acid is a larger molecule, bigger than glycolic, so it doesn't really, it doesn't sink into the skin as much as glycolic does. It's not going to dry you out, and it actually can act as a humectant and pull water into your skin, but at the same time, it's going to help to resurface, regenerate your skin. And this, like the Drunk Elephant, it gives that instant gratification in your skin. It just looks it's like Botox in a bottle, instant smoothing. I recommended this to one of my friends recently. She bought a kit, I forget which kit it was, and she's like, oh my God, whatever is in that white bottle with the gold top, it is life-changing, it's so good. I did a comparison video with this with the Ordinary's Lactic Acid. I did get the same results from the Ordinary's Lactic Acid, but they just took a little longer. But they both brightened my skin, they evened everything out. I really noticed a difference with the lightning in my sunspots. And the pH is 2.6, which I think is the lowest I've seen over the counter but you know you're getting an effective exfoliant it's going to do the job now it does have potential irritants in here there is lemongrass in here which gives it that I would say off-putting smell it almost smells like a cleaning product to me but again it doesn't give me any any irritation or redness so I don't mind it too much but just keep that in mind it can be a potentially irritating ingredient but there's also other good things in here like licorice root there's a lot of research studies to show that licorice root can help with brightening the skin and just evening out skin tone so I was excited to see that and just yeah lots of good things in here this product gets a bad rap I feel like there's a lot of like drama around this but but I just think it works. People love it. It has great ratings for a good reason. It's just that miracle in a bottle or a facial in a bottle. It's just so, so good. I'll link that video down below where I compared this with The Ordinary. I took before and after pictures as well so you can see my results. But this just makes an instant difference. It's so good. And the third on my list is this one by Cozarex. This is the AHA Whitehead Power Liquid. I had a hard time with this. This was almost number one or number two. Just for the fact that the ingredient list is so short, there's like, how many things? Like 10 ingredients on here. Apple water, glycol, so you have your humectants in here, your hydrating ingredients. Then your glycolic is your fourth ingredient. There's niacinamide in here, sodium hyaluronate. So there's just so many good things in here. It's a fragrance ray. It does the job. The concentration of the glycolic is 7%. And the pH is, let's see, what was the pH? 3.77. So an effective pH level for exfoliation. I haven't noticed extreme brightening effects with this, but I do feel like my skin is smoother and just more plump and bouncy. And I feel like I haven't used this for that long. I've had this for about a month. So I'm curious to see the long-term results from this. And the formula is a little, it's almost, it's very thin. It's almost water-like. So I don't get that strong hydration from this but that's okay because I like to layer this. I usually put this right after my cleanser and it just sinks into your skin. It's pulled into your skin. It absorbs so nicely, so quickly. So you know it's really getting into those deeper skin layers and it's just doing the job. So I've been excited about this. I'm gonna continue to use this and the ingredient list is just amazing. Korean skincare, they just, they know their ingredients. They just only put effective active ingredients in their skincare, which I really appreciate. And this, this product is no exception. One of my favorites from Cozarex. Definitely a must try. You guys have to look out for this. This is sold at Ulta. I did get this from Yes Style. If you want to get it directly from the source, go for Yes Style. I think it's a little cheaper on Yes Style. You have to get $30 worth of products for um, free shipping from Korea. But you can also get this from Ulta as well if you prefer to buy your products from Ulta. So it's widely available now and it's, it's just really good. I, I love this. And fourth on my list is the Kate Somerville Liquid Exfolicate. This is so good. It's called a triple acid resurfacing treatment. Triple acid being the glycolic, your lactic acids in here. They're your fourth and your fifth ingredients, so pretty high up in the ingredient list. And it also has fruit acids like malic acid and tar I feel like I never say this right. Tartaric acid is also in here, but lots of exfoliating properties. But it's fourth on my list because unfortunately there is fragrance in here. Second on the list is a 
flower extract from the geranium flower and it does have like a very faint smell I do actually enjoy the scent it's not overly strong it's kind of a light floral scent but just the fact that there could be potential irritation from this when you're already trying to offset irritation from exfoliating your skin is kind of a bummer also another little ding a little mark I had to take off for this is the pH the pH is 4.35 so it's not going to be that heavy duty exfoliation. If you're looking for those instant results, I don't think this is going to give it to you, but it does brighten the skin. And like I said, I always wake up with nice glowy skin. It was actually sold out for a period of time on Sephora's website. So there's a lot of good buzz about this. So it's definitely worth it. The price isn't too bad. I want to say it's in the 40 something dollar range. And this has lasted me a long time. I've had this for about three months and I'm like halfway done the bottle. It's just, it's really good. I just love how smoothing this is and hydrating it is on my skin. Last but not least, fifth on my list is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. These are great. So this has glycolic in here. There's lactic acid in here. Lactic acid is a little further up on the ingredient list than the glycolic. And then there's also hyaluronic acid in here. The pH in here is a 3.8, so it'll be effective for exfoliation. Now this is fragrance free, but it does have citrus peel extract in here, which can be an irritating ingredient. So super bummed about that. And I listed this as number five because I really haven't noticed dramatic skin changes with this, but it really just, they just clarify the skin at the end of my routine if I cleanse my skin not the end of my routine but after I wash my face I use one pad and it just really gets the extra makeup off and I just really feel like they deeply clarify and they give just like an instant somehow glow and hydration to the skin these are not going to be your harsh astringent pads like those oxy pads that we all used to use in our teens they're just really they feel gentle even though it has the lemon peel in here they're really gentle on the skin they feel soothing and I don't know my skin is somehow even though it feels like a toner on the skin it still hydrates the skin and my skin just feels instantly like glowy for the longest time I avoided these pads because I was I think I was thinking about the oxy pads I'm like oh gosh they're gonna dry out my skin but these actually hydrate and they make your skin just look almost smooth right off the bat and I just love how much they clarify so these are great this is probably one of the most popular products from first day beauty and for good reason people just love the results they get from these and it's just just a good product. So that is my top five most favorite exfoliators. Leave your favorites down below. Share what has worked for you, what products have made the most difference in your skin. Even though our skin can be so different, an exfoliating product can really just make or break your skincare routine and regimen. And are there any that absolutely didn't work for you? Did you experience any really bad irritation or sun sensitivity from any of the ones that you've tried? I'd love to hear that as well because I know when I first started delving into these, I was so nervous about that, that increased redness and inflammation but I guess these products just all really do a good job with balancing out with skin soothing ingredients. I can't think of any that have given me really harsh side effects but I'm careful to use them only three to four times a week. I use them at night and the next day I always use a good effective SPF and that is another important thing to remember. These will increase your skin sensitivity to the sun so be careful wear your SPF. But these products can be a game changer when incorporating them into your routine. So pick and choose the products that are nice and gentle, start slow, and yeah, just just enjoy. It's fun. I love skincare. It's so fun. I need to slow, slow my roll with my collection now. I feel like I'm collecting way too much, but I just love trying out new skincare. But again, share your favorites down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.